Hi everyone, Hayley here from Church Swifts and House Martins. Um, I'm in my loft today to explain how I did my internal nest box system and why, um, and that it has been successful so far, which is excellent news. Um, I had a few boxes up for the past couple of seasons, um, but the Swifts were going to the apex here, um, so I thought let's do this again, do it once and for all, and thankfully we were successful in the first season. Um, it's a very typical 1970s um, semi, so we've got the driveway is behind me, so there's a bit of a gap between this house and next doors, so they can come up through between the houses. Um, if you install 10 boxes, there's five behind here. These two are open, they do close. Um, we scaffolded the house, um, which made things a lot easier, I think quite difficult to do it from a ladder, but not impossible. Um, and then we used these wonderful little brick slips from Action for Swifts, um, just a half brick slip. Uh, it tapered, so it does have a front and a back, keeps the weather out and it is a little bit smaller um, on the one side. So these are outside, um, as you can see from the tube behind me. They're connected with some 100mm ducting pipe. Um, this is on the outside face, blends in really well with the outside brick, um, which incidentally you can get colour matched from Action for Swiss if you send, their, send one of your bricks to them. They go up to the pipe like so, and then as you can see, through the cavity and into the box here. Um, the boxes themselves are just made out of 18 mm ply, you could use 12 or whatever you've got lying around. These were This was lying around so it was next to nothing. Um, they're 40 centimetres long, 20 high and 20 deep, which is more than enough really. There's um, plenty of space for them as you can see in some of our videos. Um, there's a bit of an example. This is an action for Swift's Swift S brick. Um, it's biked now. Um, the S brick as you can see fits perfectly outside and that's the space that you've got inside so as a bit of an example the Swifts have got more than enough room so you could go a little bit smaller if space um, was of importance a um, little bit difficult with the space as you can see I've got trusses everywhere as you would um, but there's some on the wall here so trying to find where to go first off was a little bit of a pain so what we did do was pilot drill a hole, um, 10 mil drill bit, um, nice and long and then you can go through, find yourself a sort of dating point and then find a course of bricks that are suitable because these are all on just the three courses um, and then you can measure outside. We, there was a lot of steps involved, a lot of ladders and a lot of climbing. I was absolutely exhausted but it all paid off in the end. Um, callers are of importance on this one. Um, I think you can just about see there's a wire here um, going into one of the boxes, there's one behind me as well in box 10 and there's also a caller outside um, on a waterproof speaker um, so so there's the calls, I can switch them up in the cupboard below so I can have box 10 or whichever um, one, two, three, four playing as required um, to attract the swifts which really really does work and if you're in an area where you haven't got a colony or you're quite keen to get them to come into your boxes um, I would say it's a very good idea um, and definitely something to look into. Um, so the calls were playing out of here in box 10, but we had 8, 10, 5 and 6 used on a very regular basis. Um, I don't know if you can, how well you can sit on them, maybe you can't, but there's, um, the beds are already made for them, lined with a few feathers, but there's also extra feathers that the Swifts brought in with them, um, and even some thistle seeds, which I didn't realise until obviously the end of the season. Um, we did have, very luckily we had an egg this, last year, um, unfertilised, it obviously wouldn't have come to anything, they were already first time, um, a young couple, so maybe this year, hopefully if they return they'll breed. Um, this is normally in a box, I won't leave it in the, in the nest. Um, so essentially it was just a case of finding where's best to go, obviously with your pilot drill and then see where you can go for the best, um, but chipping out your brick on the front. Put your brick slip in, um, cement that in like you would any other brick and then from the inside, from the centre of your pilot drill, it was a case of diamond core, this is 100 mil, obviously for the size of the um, ducting pipe but there's loads of different ones that you could use. Um, this one went, these blocks are like rich tea biscuits so this one went in like butter until you hit rebar and then it was a little bit of fun but we did only hit two so that was, that was a miracle. Um, so yep, yeah, core drill 
through that hole um, pipe goes through we use some resin to sit that in place which again you could just use cement but it was something that we had so um, that's never going to move um, the Swiss make the way through um, did have my example one somewhere but I can't see a thing um, there's obviously plenty of room as you can see from the videos the nest cup is very similar to this design this is a little bit of um, untreated timber that I get from a local supplier to make boxes with a cordial in the middle and then a little bit of fill around the outside loads of really good information on action for swifts about how um, to make your nest cups but this is pretty much designed on their findings of how best to keep the eggs in and no rolling out that sort of thing and it's very comfy you can see from the videos whether we've sort of plopped themselves in and it's just perfect for them to rest their chins on the front there um, we did this in the April um, I think and then started playing the calls late May um, within a week the Swiss were coming back around the house um, and then early June we had our first resident in box number eight and then within a week he'd found himself or she'd found themselves a mate um, so we had our first pair and then on the solstice we had our next pair as well so last year this was installed um, within a week of cutting the ribbon we had um, attention and then within a month we've got two pairs so it was um, fantastic news since the since the swifts came that we had quite a lot of interest and multiple fights there were other birds involved so it's definitely these five birds um, fighting for a spot so if this is something that you've got room for if it's something that you fancy doing if you're quite handy or you know somebody that is um, it did take a while but it was quite easy really if you know what you're doing and you've got a bit of support and I'm more than happy to help anybody um, with the bits and bobs that they need or any advice it is a permanent solution you can keep an eye on it you can monitor it you can clean the boxes if you need to you can block them up um, which some people are inclined to do if you've got if you've got sparrows in the area that like to use them i've left these open over winter as a space for roosting birds but nothing has been in so far but all you need is a little bit of sponge if you do want to block them up if you have got resident swifts in the future um the i can't reach um you can just put the sponge in the hole like so and then you can block it off and then it's easy just to pull it out um when the season starts again um, I might do that if my sparrows get a little bit excited but they have taken up one of the other swift boxes instead so that's not a problem. Um, so yeah, apart from the cameras it was quite a, a simple job. The cameras were low cost, um, I think they're about seven or eight pounds off um, eBay. There's a cupboard below me with all the with all the electronics in, we've got the caller, the recorder for the cameras and that's all linked to my phone so you know exactly when something's going on. Um, if you can do this sort of project i would recommend it because it does have a really high success rate um, but it is also permanent easy to monitor and if you do ever move and you talk to new new tenants there maybe there is um, something that you could come to um, and it's it's value but, but it's valuable for the birds but it's also really enjoyable for you i can we've got two bedrooms and from both of them and even downstairs you can hear them which is, to me, is a bit of a treat, really. You can hear them talking to each other, you can hear them squabbling at night. It's, it's really, really sweet. So it's um, definitely, definitely worth doing. Um, the expensive part was the scaffolding, really. If you, if chipping out the bricks is something that you feel that you could do from a ladder, that's great if you've got access to a cherry picker. Um, but the scaffolding cost me about £380 just to do the side of the house. Um, we had the roof done the year before, so should have thought about it a little bit sooner, but these things don't always go the right way. So um, yeah, that's um, that is the internal box system. So it does definitely work. Oh, we've got um, there's a butterfly in the corner there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll keep him keep him tucked in. Um, so thanks for watching. If there's any more information that I can um, give, always drop me a message or ask me in the comments, and I'll do whatever I can.